What's the ayah in the Quran about this? وَسَخَّرْنَا لَهُ الْرِيحَ تَجْرِي بِأَمْرِهِ رُخَاءً حَيْفَ أَصَابْ Wherever he want. So if you want to go to India, I can go to India very quickly. You know, when he want to get العرش uh, or the, the throne of Balqis, and he asked those who are with him, who can bring it to me? One uh, from Jen, he said, I can bring it to you before you leave your place. Then the one who had knowledge of the book, he said, I can bring it to you before you blink your eye. How fast? It's very fast. It's not easy for Solomon to go there. So Solomon was a prophet, he was a king, and he ruled all the world that time. So it could be reaching from that time. It could be also from the teaching of Moses, law of Moses, because 3,000 years, Moses before 3,000 years. Moses 3,500 years from now. Because be be between, between Moses and Solomon, 500 years. So 3,500 years, the uh, Torah was there. It might reach there, <coughs> either at the time of Solomon or before. So it, it might be derived from the Torah also. Or it might be a Sahab Ibrahim, the blades of Ibrahim. Yes. What about uh, Zabur? Zabur, it is just before uh, Solomon, before David. It can reach there also. And Zabur mentioned Muhammad. Zabur mentioned Muhammad in Song of Song, in the last chapter. Muhammad mentioned by name. Yeah. In chapter 4. In some of songs. Uh, purpose of human life in Hinduism is to avoid rebirth again, so to reach to or, or attain moksha. In Hinduism, there are multiple gods, one or more are worshipped to link to the Paramatma. There are many verses mentioned in Hindu scriptures calling to worship the true God and follow his last prophet, Muhammad Any question? Yes. Microphone, please. It seems, it seems, if I'm not wrong, that that messengers came to these people and then they went to extremes about them and turned them into gods. This is what it seems like. I don't know if you could shed some light on that. I did not understand it. Like uh, you have um, uh, in obviously the Quran, so they mentioned yes. that uh, we shouldn't go to extremes about um, the messengers and the prophets like the Christians and Jews yeah. went about. So it seems as if these people originally they had messengers, but they went to extremes about these messengers and prophets up until they turned them into gods. Yes. It seems all, all prophets, all prophets which have been sent to human for one message. They are with Allah, where is Tarmo. This is the message to all nations. So the prophets, from first prophets, at, from time of Adam السلام, then Adris, then Noah السلام, till now, last messenger, Prophet Muhammad السلام, the message is the same, is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to avoid the idols. Uh, are there any books or uh, videos or uh, lectures that you recommend also? 
would further help in uh, giving the methods of uh, calling the Hindus to Islam. Yeah, the, that Indian uh, Nike, Nike. No, no. Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik have a lot of videos, and he talked about uh, Hindu in very nice way. How to how to convince them about the God. Yeah, he 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 had a lot of videos. Sheikh Ahmed Didat also. Sheikh Ahmed Didat originally he, Indian. Yeah. And the second name is this together. Muhammad Krishna? Rav Krishna. Muhammad Prophet of Islam by Rav Krishna. Yeah. How can we introduce Islam to these people? How to introduce Islam to these people? Yeah. Now this is the the cake. Huh? What I talk with you is just only a knowledge of the Hinduism. Then it's your job how to use this knowledge in order to approach them. First, you have to put in your mind that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَا تَسُبُّ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ فَيَسُبُّ اللَّهَ عَدْمًا بِغَيْرِ هِمْ Don't insult or downgrade their gods, otherwise they will insult Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is one principle. The second principle, you talk with them, since they believe that there is one God, and they devote to one guy, one God while accepting others, it's easy for you all to stop that there is only one God. But how to convince them about this God? If you tell them that I am a Muslim, I believe in one God. And that God is the one who created everything. He is the one who preserved everything. He is the one who is going to destroy everything. He is the one who will take my soul and your soul. I am worshipping that God. So I worship only the one who is able to take my soul. He is the one who will... After I die, he is the one who will take my soul and my soul will go to the heaven after it has been judged because you believe that there is something karma. The Hindu believe about karma. For any action, there is reaction. So, if I am doing good things, what will happen to me? I should have a reaction. I should have a reward. If I am doing bad things, I should have punishment. Why my soul go to another person? Where, where is the punishment? If my soul go to a rat, for example, is it punishment for me? No. Because I don't know that time. Do you know? For ask him, do you know from where is your soul? Where your soul was before? You say no. So your soul, you don't know where it's going to be, and your soul you don't know from where it is. So where is the karma? Where is the reaction for the action? If if he believe or have a good mind. He believe that about karma, which he, it's principle there, for any action there is reaction. So my soul either should be punished or rewarded. Not to go to another person which I don't know that time where is my soul and I don't remember what I was. This is just only introduction. You can't go anywhere. Yes, I heard a story you said that I didn't uh, didn't really in the cafe. You said you told yes, someone yes. I didn't. Uh... Yeah, uh, believing on many gods. Uh, some Indians they, they get conversion to Islam with this only with this example. I was talking with them, and they told them, you know Rakshat, Rakshat, you know it. 
Raksha is the small car they use in India. I told him, if the Raksha is having three driving wheels, Riksha, three, three driving wheels, one driving wheel is held by Brahma, the other by Vishnu, and the third by Krishna, or by Shiva. And each one of them, one different place. Brahma wants, for example, New Delhi. And Shiva wants Bombay. And Vishnu wants Hyderabad. What will happen? What will happen to the rickshaw? 